Alright, <clears throat> welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. I would check out the lounge, but was this the top one? But I'm gonna check out the crew quarters. Alright then. Huh? So these are the crew quarters, huh? Oh, Sigma. Hey, Tamiurgy. What are you doing here? Uh, nothing. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Don't be like that. We aren't enemies, are we? Huh, I wonder. What happened to you, Tamiurgy? You've been acting weird ever since we found that lady's body. Oh, you think so? But you sure it ain't just all in your head? <laughs> Fine, let's move on to something else, then. You and Quark. Is he your grandkid? Why do you want to know? Why? Well, I mean, why you? Why do you think? He keeps calling you Grandpa, of course I'm going to wonder what the deal is. We all got kidnapped and brought here, apparently, for no reason. Now they're making us all play some sort of weird game. I'm just trying to find a little meaning in all this nonsense. That's it. So tell me, Tammy Oji, are you really Quark's Grandpa? Clover, Sigma, Luna. Where'd you come from? Did you not want me here? No, it's okay, I guess. I just thought Tenmyoji was the only other person here. This is the crew quarters. I came here with Clover and Tenmyoji. Okay then. We decided we'd split up to investigate. Huh? Makes sense. So you find anything? Zero. Wait, which one? No, I meant I found zero things. <laughs> What about you? Anything suspicious, Luna? I didn't find anything either. Although, I guess you could say this whole facility is suspicious. Yeah, you got a point there. It looks like it's some kind of living quarters. Like a space station kind of thing, but yeah. So why do you think Zero put all these puzzles and stuff all over the place? Hmm. Well, maybe solving all of these puzzles is part of the Nonary game. <laughs> Really? I thought the Nonary game was a couple of rounds of the AB game. Why would he need puzzles and stuff then? Well, what is the Nonary game then? Why is Zero making us do all this? Um, well, this is just, um, speculation, but maybe it's for entertainment. So rich, powerful people can watch. <laughs> entertainment? Yes, they're probably off in an opulent theater, watching us struggle while they drink brandy and eat caviar. Oh, you think so, huh? So some rich bastards killed her off for kicks. What kind of a death is that? Well, maybe her dying didn't have anything to do with the rest of the game. No, Kay was right. If her dying wasn't part of all this, the rabbit would have said something. But what'd we get? Nothing. Just tells us to keep playing and disappears. I can only think of one reason he'd do that. His mouth was stuck in that. Murdering her was always part of Zero's plans. Now, if you can think of another way all this fits, well, I'd love to hear it. So you're saying that Zero Sr. is the one who murdered the old lady? Now, it sure looks that way. That means there's a 7 in 1 chance anybody could be the murderer. Wait, well, seven? Alice and I can't be Zero. Okay. I'll let the eye part go, but you're gonna have to give me a little to convince me Alice can't be zero. What? Come on. Alice and I know each other. Well, um, how do you know each other? Uh, I guess you could say we're co workers. And where do you co work? An organization? Organization? That's kind of vague. What kind of organization? Um,. That's... I can't tell you. What? What do you mean you can't tell us? I mean, I can't tell you. Just forget about it, okay? Why can't you tell us? Because it's confidential. I promised I wouldn't tell. Yet yeah, while you're in that pose, it doesn't really give me much to give, live on, that kind of thing, if you get what I'm talking about. Look around you, Clover. <laughs> You really think this is the time for playing it close to the chest? Yeah! What if the people you work for have something to do with what's going on here? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should tell you. That 
I hate that smile. Can we get a fix? Can we, like, make that into some kind of... Uh, uh, so scary. Finally. Sorry, but I just don't really trust you guys. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, what if one of you is Zero? It could be any of you. Huh? Sorry. Anyway, I think that's enough about me and Alice. I just don't really feel like I can trust you guys. Maybe if that changes, then I can tell you. So, I guess I'll go now. Go? Where are you going? I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Then I'll be going too. Fine. There she goes. So, Temi Urgy. Save it. I don't trust you any more than she does. Oh, come on. In other words, you aren't going to tell me anything, are you? Sorry. No problem, I guess. I deserve that. I am the only one without a voice actor. I left Temi Urgy and headed back to the hallway. There were so many questions I wanted answers to, but it was looking like I'd have to suffer in ignorance for a while longer. Besides, there were plenty of more immediate problems that needed my attention. I sighed and filled my questions away to be dealt with later. I needed to focus. Uh, let's go to the infirmary this time. The two rooms we haven't been to. God, my nose, sorry. You may have heard background noise because I was rubbing my nose. I felt sick a little since after school today. How's it going? You guys find anything? Hello, Mr. Sigma. Hey. I, I don't know. What? Uh, it's like, um... It's like those footy player hat things, how they have the drinks in them, and they have the, um, the sippy straws going from the drink to your mouth, and you sip at them, so you can, like, look at the game, and you can just keep on sucking, and you just keep on watching, and, uh, oh, I, oh. <laughs> Nothing yet. Well, oh. Alice, Clover, and I did go over this room quite thoroughly. I doubt you'll find any hidden hallways here. Why are you back here, then? Uh, well, I was concerned about the lady you found. Who would do such a horrible thing? Given what we know so far, you're the most likely candidate. Fi, please. Why would I kill this woman? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying the evidence points to you right now. If we find more evidence in the future, that could change. We were so busy earlier that I have never got to ask. But do you, any of you know who she is? Beats me. I've never seen her before. I don't know her either. Neither do I. Well, I suppose I might have known her before I lost my memories, but there's no way to know, is there? You still can't remember anything? No. Not even a little, unfortunately. It's funny how everyone believed Seven when he said he had amnesia, but I guess it's because you could tell he was worried about himself and stuff, and then he was remembering things slowly. But <laughs> still. You better be telling the truth about this amnesia stuff. Are you suspicious of me too, Sigma? Suspicious? Have you looked in a mirror lately? You might as well have suspicious tattooed across your forehead. If someone ran into you on the street at night, they'd probably pass out from fright. Or maybe even during the day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize for my frightening appearance. Well, it's not really something you need to apologize for. I mean, it's not your fault, right? No, I suppose not. Well... I assume not, but... But what? I'm not sure why, but none of this feels particularly strange. The mask and the suit, I mean. In a way, it almost feels... natural. I don't feel as though I was forced into it. Are you saying this is how you always look? No, I don't think that's it. This might be a pretty obvious question, but... Is there any way for you to take it off? No. I've tried several times, to no avail. It looks like his head's just floating there. <laughs> I honestly don't even know where to start. <coughs> ah, but there is something I'd like to ask of you. There are parts of the suit I can't see. Could you have a look and tell me if perhaps there is a switch or something similar? With no further warning, he removed his rope and turned his back to us. It took no time at all to find them something of interest. <laughs> There's a hole on your back. On the back of your uh, head. Hole? 
Yeah, it looks like you insert something. It says open, so maybe if you put some kind of key in there. You could open up the suit and take the mask off. I see. That's excellent news. We just need to find whatever it is that goes in there then. Yeah. Thank you. I feel somewhat relieved. I was beginning to fear I might have to spend the rest of my life like this. Wait! A minute ago, you said that it felt natural. Well, it does. But that doesn't mean I want to stay in it forever. Imagine having glasses, for instance. Wearing them doesn't feel strange, but you'd hardly want to wear them all the time, forever, would you? That's what wearing the suit is like. <laughs> well, I think that's enough about me. Should we move to the next room now? No. There still might be something here. I'm staying. Me too! I see. Well then, I will move ahead and see how our companions are doing. What do you intend to do? Hmm, I think we'll be moving along Where too. do you plan to go? Uh, the lounge. I was thinking maybe I'd head to the Very lounge. Very well. I shall head for the crew quarters then. Until we meet again. Excuse me. It's robe, um, Kay's robe flowed silently around him as he turned to leave. I made my way out of the infirmary behind him. Oh, Sigma. Oh, hey. Perfect timing. You were here earlier, right? Yeah, I was. Phi Luna and I were first in this room. Did you find anything suspicious? Like, uh, secret pathway or something. You really think that's kind of detail I would have neglected to mention? Anything else, then? Anything out of the ordinary? Out of the ordinary? Hmm. Well, I mean, everything about this room is out of the ordinary. How about this? Isn't that obvious? It's an astronomy magazine. Apparently it's got an article about a lunar eclipse. It says it's gonna happen on December 31st, 2028. This New Year's Eve, then? Yeah. Six days from now. Wait, what did you say? What do you mean, six days? Uh, well, today's Christmas, right? Wait a minute, when were you grabbed? Did you hear me? On Christmas. About two or three in the morning. Wait, did they pick you up on a different day? Yeah. I was abducted in the middle of the night on December 22nd. What about you? I... Uh, I think it was the 20th. Then we were all taken on different days. Does that mean you were just sleeping until the notary game started? Maybe they kept us on a Soparil IV drip or something? In theory, you could have everyone wake up at the same time if you got the dosage right. Then today might not even be the 25th. I think that's likely. Yeah. Some of us were probably abducted after you. Oh, well, I guess that explains why I feel kind of dizzy. You too? I felt disoriented since I woke up. My body doesn't feel right. Well, maybe it's because we were asleep for so long. Your muscles start to atrophy if you don't use them. Then, what day is it today? Beats me. <clears throat> I have no idea. Well then, that's a little worrying. Well, what about you guys? Was there anything interesting in the crew quarters of the infirmary? Nah, nothing in the quarters. Oh well, there was a book about a cat. A cat? Yeah, something about a cat in a box and whether it's dead or alive. Oh, well, Scrooge's cat. Didn't make any sense to me though. Well, it doesn't really sound like something that's going to help us get out of yeah, here. Yeah, I didn't think so either. How about the infirmary? Find anything interesting? Well, actually, there was one thing. What? I wasn't trying to hide it. The right moment to mention it just never came up. You don't need to apologize. Just tell us what you found. Well, see for yourself. What the hell? It's a newspaper article. Yeah, it was in the safe in the infirmary. Let me see that. Radical six infection spreads. Cure continues to elude authorities. What the hell? What's Radical six? Yeah, what's Radical six? Just read the article. I swallowed and began to read. The Radical six virus continues to spread across the globe like wildfire. The WHO has confirmed that 
the death toll is estimated to have passed 100,000 victims. Immediate quarantine of any infected patients is strongly advised. Do you think we're in a quarantine facility? You mean you think we got infected with this Radical Six thing? Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Well, we don't know anything for sure, but look at us. We seem pretty healthy. Admittedly, I don't know what the symptoms of Radical Six are, but if it's killing people worldwide, they must be horrific. Now, just look at this soft, lustrous skin. <laughs> this perfect, shapely face. Oh my god. Does this beauty look like something infected with an awful disease? Yeah, it's called, um, infected with slut syndrome. You want to touch it, don't you, boy? I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> Go on. Well, I am feeling a little weird. That could just be from sleeping for a couple of days. Or maybe it's a side effect of that drug. Uh, besides, if this is where they ship people to quarantine them, don't you think there aren't enough, uh, people? This thing is killing people all over the world, right? So why would there only be nine of us here? Yeah, I guess you do have a point. Think about it. Zero is forcing us to play this nonary game. Why would the government quarantine people and then make them play a game? Also a good point. Yes, it is. So you're saying there's no connection between our abductions and this virus? Probably not. Hmm. Well, there's still something we should remember, I suppose. I mean, even if we're safe in here, our fa friends and families are still out there. That's true. I hope they're all right. Wait a minute. When did this virus actually show up? I've never heard of it. Neither have I. Me either. So what day is it? If this Radical Six kills hundreds of thousands of people while we're still asleep, just how long have we been here for? I don't think you'll be able to just puzzle that out. If we want the truth, we need to find more information. Yeah, well, doesn't look like we're gonna have time for that. Yep. Four minutes. Shit, we're late. Uh, yeah. Alright then. We should hurry. remain until chromatic doors close you're late what the hell are you doing uh, sorry that's not good enough you realize we could die here right hey whoa calm down there girl I made it in time barely we've only got five minutes left you're a yellow pair who do you think your partner is gee I wonder Ugh, you son of a come now Fi. please calm down Fighting now helps no one. He's right, you know. The doors have already opened. We need to hurry up and figure out our teams. <sighs> what did I do to deserve this asshole? Sir, so how should we pair We're up? almost out of time. I'll just explain it as fast as I can. Just like before, there are only three possible combinations. The options Fee and Fi laid out for us were following. Option A. Alice and I, Cyan, would pair up with Luna, Yellow, and go through the green door. Temio and Quark, Magenta, would, pay, um, would pair up with Clover, Cyan, and open the blue door. Fine Deer, Yellow, would pair up with K, Magenta, and open the red door. So that's me and Alice, and Luna. I don't really want that one, but because we've already teamed up with Luna, I want to get to know another person. Alice and I would team up with K. Maybe that does sound pretty nice. Go through the blue door. Temioji and Quark, Magenta, would pair up with Luna, and Fi and Deer Yellow would pair up with Clover Cyan. Or, me and Clover. Ha! <laughs> no! I'm teaming up with Kay. Though, then again, there could be some kind of cool dialogue between Alice and Clover we might pick up on. 
See, I'll go with Clover. I want to work out more about what Clover's been up to. So I'm going to do option C. Three minutes. All right. So what are I'm we going to do? I'm not pairing up with Kay. Oh? We'd end up playing against each other in the next AB game. Last time, you betrayed Clover. How am I supposed to know you won't do the same to me? <laughs> you can't be trusted. How unfortunate. To be honest, however, I would rather not go with you either. Yeah? Why's that? Well, I very much doubt you'll choose to ally in the next round. Even if you promised me you would choose to ally, I'd be in an undesirable situation. You see, I wouldn't be able to choose to betray. If I did, and you were true to your word and allied, then I would kill you. So there you are. That is why I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Interesting. Of course, for the same reason, I would rather not be paired with Alice. That's not a problem. Sigma and I will be taking Clover. I trust her more than any of the rest of you. Oh, okay. Yep. I want to go with Alice, too. Hey, wait a minute. Don't I get to say in this? I would like to go with Sigma or Phi. They chose Ally last time. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'm Phi's partner. You should pair up with us. Sound good? No. I am also opposed to that choice. If Alice and Clover pair up, and Luna and Dio pair up, the rest of us don't have a choice. Yeah, they have to stand with We'll K. be stuck with Phi's option C. I believe I mentioned before that I do not wish to be paired with Tenmyoji. Oh, that sucks. And I don't want to go with K either. What the hell are we supposed to do? One minute. What's wrong, Cork? It's all over. This is it. We're all going to die. What the? When did you turn emo? Are you all right? No. No. That's not it. Don't you get it? We aren't going to die. We have to die. We have to die here. All of us. What, what the hell? Okay, this kid's on morphogenetic field shit now. Oh, snap out of it, kid. Oh, come on, Cork. Talk to me. No, I'm fine. You're the crazy ones! Getting so serious about the stupid game! We should just stop. End this. End all of it. End everything. <sighs> we need to get him to the infirmary. No, we don't have time. 30 seconds remain. We don't have a choice. Quark's with me. I'll carry him through. But we still haven't figured out who's going where. I can't afford to be picky anymore. Someone just choose. I don't care who! Sigma, you have to choose! Well, why me? Please, just do it! We don't have any time left! Nine, eight, seven. Alright, Swallowed, I, Alice, and I will go with Clover. Alice and I will take Clover and go through the red door. No, I cannot allow you to do that. God damn it, Kay. We don't have time for this. Choose a different door, please. No! He's stood in front of the red door, solid and immovable, and he's metal armor. I didn't think I could force my way past him, and I knew I didn't have the time to try. Shit. There were two doors left for me to choose from, but which one? Oh, you're kidding me! Fine! I'll choose K! Alice! K! The blue door! Right! We should hurry. We took off towards the door to run. I glance back over my shoulders to see the doors, others heading for their respective doors. Phi, um, Phi, Deer, and Clover were headed towards the green door, while Temioji carried Quark towards the red door, followed by Yuna and um, Luna. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Garden. Wait, three doors? It appears they are all locked. Is this the dead end? What's that thing over there? It looks like the thing next to the number nine door. Does that lever move? Only one way to find out. Rec room. 
Well, that was easy enough. It only opened the door on the right, though. Then we are likely meant to go there. How do we get the other doors to open? I have no idea. There do not seem to be any other mechanisms which might cause them to unlock. I don't think that's really something we should be worrying about right now. We have a door that's open, we should go through it. You are correct. There is little to be achieved by remaining here. Forward it is then. Alright, I guess. Alright, I guess. <laughs> I get it. Whoa. Ah! That's Sir Junior. What is this place? The rec room, apparently. Oh, you didn't see it. There was a plate on the door. It said rec room, as I recall. Short for recreation, one might assume. How ironic. I doubt recreation is foremost on any of our minds right now. Okay, the pool of darts I get, but... What's with the suits of armor? Seem kind of weird. If you think the armor's weird, check that thing out. Whoa. Is that... a ride? Yeah, I see them in front of grocery stores all the time. You put a coin in and it kind of rocks around. You must have gone on one at least once when you were a kid. I have no memory of doing so, but it is possible. Is Kay gonna ride on it? Does that thing mean there were uh, there were kids here? At no, some point? I don't think so. I guess it's part of someone's collection. Maybe. That seems like an exceedingly odd thing to collect. So this place has a lounge, some sleeping quarters, and now this is rec room. It looks like we're on some kind of luxury cruise liner. Now that you mention it. It does give the impression that people are supposed to stay here for an extended period of time. They have a small but well-stocked infirmary. Anyone here would be able to treat at least minor injuries and illnesses. So you think this room is to help people keep from going out of their minds with boredom? Yes. Relaxation is important in an isolated environment. Everything anybody needs to live without leaving. I guess they're planning to keep us here for a while, huh? Well, that's not happening. I agree. Let's just find those moon card things and get out of here. Alright then. Ah, there's a door over there. No good. Won't open. Looks like it's locked up tight. In other words, the moon cards must be in this room somewhere. Alright then, let's find them. Okay then, so, let's have a look at everything. The pool table, huh? It looks as though a piece of the felt has been torn off. Some of the felt has been torn off, okay. Ball retrieval slot. Yeah, that's where the balls that go into the pockets come out. Okay, so, let's go back. Let's look around the place, what's this? Oh, okay, <laughs> Just... It looks like this box is connected to the ride somehow, but why? I can't say for sure, but dirt rides often require payment in order to run. Yeah, but I don't see anywhere to stick a coin in. Have you looked closely at the lion? There seems to be a slur in the mouth. Interesting. Blue box with a lion's face on it. Oh, it's gonna try to press the power button. It's one of those rides like you see in front of a grocery store. It looks like Zero Junior. I get the feeling someone's laughing at us. I don't like it. It looks like the extension cord is plugged into the ride, but I'm not sure why. What do you mean? It's probably there so the ride can get power. That's not what I mean. There's way too much slack. Doesn't it look like the ride's power cable is long enough without the extension cord? Then let's take the extension cord with us. Don't forget to plug right back into the outlet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're taking it with us. Nice. Um, let's see what this is. Hey, Alice, what's the deal with this screen over the ta um, table? I think it's a scoreboard. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, hi. Scrap of felt. Looks like luminol. Oh no, we're gonna have luminol things again. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Looks like these are all the same things. Do you think we're supposed to pick the right bottles or something? I hope not, they're all exactly alike to me. Then just take whatever, whichever one you want. Okay, then it must be luminol. It's often used in forensic investigations. What are we supposed to do with it? Maybe we could spray it on the pool table. The pool table? When I was examining it earlier... Oh, what does that say? If it was blood, I don't know what you just said. When I was examining it earlier, I noticed a few areas where it looked like something had been wiped off. Oh! 
Okay, so... Let's put the felt back on. Ah, looking at your piece of felt, I see. Yeah, I was thinking about trying to fit into the bare spot on the pool table. And there. Wow, okay. Everything has been wiped. Hmm, now to spray the table with luminol. Oh, the felt is damp now. Oh yeah, it's very luminol all over. Shall we check for the reaction then? Yes, to see if luminol is reacting with anything. Uh, turning off the light should give us the answer. Alright then. Let's turn the light off. Because we need the light off for this. Whoa. Hmm, there are six letters on the table. Yeah, it looks like they were written in something that reacted with the luminol. They appear to be letters A through F. No, no pattern that I can see, though. There is a pattern. C, A, F, D, B, E. This looks like some kind of control panel. There's something on the screen. Rectangular button turns stages lights on or off. Circular button activates armor. Control panel looks like it has something on the screen. Yep, yep, yeah, I know. So, ooh. this doesn't look right. It looks like he's meant to be holding a sword. I, I guess he could be throwing the javelin, but it looks like these two are fighting. There are two circles of light uh, you'd get from a spotlight on the back of the wall stage. Why does the shadow of the suit on the left have an axe? Oh, he's meant to have an axe. Hell if I know. Maybe if it's a ghost. I don't think so. Perhaps we shouldn't concentrate on where the shadows came from. But rather what the shadows mean. What they mean, huh? Uh, who has the axe? It's so dark now, I'm not sure what I'm touching. Okay, what was that noise? I definitely haven't broken anything. You sure? Alice! What are you doing, Alice? Please don't accidentally break something valuable. You know, we won't talk. Guess it's dangerous just fumble around in the dark. Fine, I'll turn the light back on. There. There are lights hitting the stage. This guy's holding something. Uh, this is a spear. More specifically, it is a charging spear. Uh, for use from horseback. Even more specifically, it is a lance. You see how the tip is pointed? As you may surmise, it is used primarily as a piercing weapon. Is the guy holding something? Hey, doesn't it look like there's something on the glass? Under the glass. Yeah, hard to tell what it is from here. And we can't get it can't get to it as long as it's covered in the glass. Guess you should give him the weapon I've got in exchange for what he's holding. Trident. Guess I'll give him the weapon of the exchange. Were you planning to give this suit of armor the pool cue? I don't think that would be appropriate. The cue, the cue stick is meant to more important things. Perhaps you should hold on to it for now. Guess I'll take the weapon it's holding then. I was about to say, don't give him the pool cue. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's turn the lights off again. And see what the shadows showed. Oh, I guess I'm just meant to give him the axe. That's really all. It doesn't matter what this guy has. Two circles of light. Yeah, I can't put it on, but it was stupid. Sigma can't see in the dark. Why do I have the trident? I should have the axe. There. There's a triangle in the middle of the circular. I'm gonna push it. Bomba! Oh, the shield! The glass is broken. We can you can get and um, we can get that thing on the shield now. Yeah, let's grab it. Allen wrench. Ooh. That's interesting. Let's go check out this deer thing. My god, this deer must have phased halfway through the wall and then gotten stuck. 
How horrific! Uh, it's just a mounted head. It's just, it's a decoration. Ah, oh, I did think it had an extraordinary long legs. Oh, because it's able to reach that high. <laughs> There's a deer mounted on the wall, it's just decoration. The coin slot. Nothing happens. Why didn't you hit it? A little damage might make it more flexible. What the hell kind of logic, logic is that? If being locked means it's working correctly, then if it's not working correctly, it wouldn't be locked. Uh, if, if we break it completely, then we're burned. What an astute observation. <laughs> oh, how nostalgic. This is the jukebox. It plays an old form of music media known as a record. With the push of a few buttons, you can listen to your favorite songs. Looks like it's not plugged in. There's an outlet over there, but I don't think the cable is long enough. It wouldn't reach. Doesn't look like it. Guess we can't use the jukebox right now. Well, I have something that can be very useful for that. Uh, if I connect the extension cord to the power cable, then plug it into the outlet. Cool. Nothing. I'm just gonna push the button. I need to put a coin in, but I need to find the coin first. These coins. I think. There's a round indention in this frame. Perhaps something round goes on it. Oh, okay. Huh? Uh, why won't it open? Score 91. There's something on there, but we can't take it out of... I mean... Out of it, it won't open. Alright then. What's this supposed to be a picture of? There's, um, there are those balls from that kid show, right? If you collect seven of them, you get... <laughs> then you can get a wish? Oh my god. But there's more than twice that here. Oh, then it's a set of billar balls. Look, I think it's probably a hint. How can it be a hint? Like, is that the order I meant to put it in? Just grab it and bring it with you. Alright then. What the hell? Oh! Do we have to paint them? I hope not. An automatic scoreboard, huh? Nice. If we had some darts, we could play a game or two. Um... 20 times 20 goes 20. Yeah, yeah, score 20. 120. Just I'm guessing that's what I have to get. Well, first of all... Alright, what am I supposed to do with these white balls? Maybe you need to drop them into the pockets of the pool table. Place each of the six balls into the correct pockets in the following order, A, B, C, D, E, F. Specific uh, balls must go in specific pockets. For instance, ball A would need to go into pocket A and so forth. Uh, collect the yellow triangle will allow you to switch which ball group is displayed, either 1 to 8 or 9 to 15. Alright, let's give it a try. So, I remember... Oh. Well, that sucks. Um, Alright. So. Damn, no good. I don't get it. I do get it. I do get it. I just need to do something. I need to turn the light off. So it's C-A-F-D-B-E. Comfort B. Comfort B. Comfort B. Cool. And, so Comfort B. Uh, let's look at the billards poster. One is just a circle, so one is an A. Boom, ba oh. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. Did I stuff up? No. A and B are exactly the same. Oh, what about two? What's number two? Number two is like a B. Uh, number three? Number three is also like a. Uh, 
like D and E actually, so Carford D Wait, I didn't I didn't know. Whoops. I didn't know I had to do it in the order of the ABCs. One two let's see what one's like that. I think thirteen is like that. Anything else? Oh, anything that's... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I didn't need to look at this poster at all. I thought the balls would be like different shapes, but no, that 1 to 8 is the same, or 9 to 15 is the same. I can remember that. God damn it, game. failed why why did I fail oh I'm an idiot I am an idiot I'm such an idiot <laughs> you have to do the colors I didn't, I didn't realize that I actually didn't think of that I'm an idiot um so it's red I don't like that it keeps on going back to the like the archive yeah. thing. <sighs> Just stop it. Just <laughs> actually no, that does make sense, but still. Um, so it's red, so it's gonna be thirteen. No, eleven. Uh, car right there. Whoa. Uh, oh, it's orange. I'm an idiot. Oops. Okay. So A was four, B was one. Uh, this one's 13. D is blue, so it's 2. E is green, so it's uh, 14 or 6. 6. And F is 9. Oh, no, it's close actually. <laughs> yeah, completed.